Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a menu using Unity's UI system and GameStrap. Let's get started right away. First we're going to create a new scene and after that we're going to select the main camera and change its background color. We'll set its RGB values to 66, 30 and 60. We'll then create a canvas in our scene so we can actually draw our UI elements. Notice that when we actually change the size of the screen, the canvas also changes with it. It's important to set the canvas scaler to scale with screen size and have it so that it matches the actual height. We'll be using two different ratios in the aspect, as you can see here, which are 3x4 and 9x16, which both of them cover a wide variety of mobile devices. Alright, now that we have our canvas ready, let's right click on it, select UI and create our first image. We'll then place it where the logo should go, which is up here, right there. And let's just click on the source image and select the GameStrap logo. We'll then right click and look for the GameStrap menu and select the button. And we'll just set it where it should go for now. We can modify it later on. Then we'll create a panel which will help us organize the menu buttons at the bottom and let's just place it right where the button should go. Alright, that should be good. Let's just put it so it's at, aligned at the, at the bottom. Then let's add a grid layout and we'll set its cell size to 75 and 75. We'll also set the uh, child alignment to middle center and after that we'll right click under the panel and go to GameStrap Flat and select the icon button. With that we'll just duplicate it three times, one, two, three, and we'll start setting the actual icons that will go on the menu. So profile, mm, achievements, right there you are. And we'll set so it's music and the last one is sound. There you go. Then we'll actually just delete the image on the panel. We don't need that anymore. And as you can see, everything scales down perfectly. Yeah. We'll use then GameStrap UI Flat Kit, which will allow us to set colors to the UI elements. So just select the button, press the color, apply, and it automatically does that. Or, you know, select a group of them, select the color, apply, and you're good. By the way, uh, you can also assi uh, set shadows and gradient. We'll just set shadows this time. And for the button, you can actually set it the font. Let's just select one and just click apply. And as you can see, it changes. GameStrap also has, you know, different shapes. And I'll just show them, like, go through them one by one. Curly fast, if you don't get bored. <laughs> and then we'll select the last one actually there you go that's the one uh, cool that's great once we actually press play as you can see everything works just fine the colors work great um, and we're good now this is just uh, for the example I'm just gonna you know set this two icons so they actually toggle with uh, helper script and I just need to you know s select each icon and set its uh, on and off. Oh, there you go. And then music, sound, sorry. There you go. And just make sure they're set on initially. And as you can see, well, you can turn on and off right away. So, hey, that's cool. One last thing I almost forgot is just we gotta change the button text to, act to play now. And as you can see, you can actually now scale it down to whatever size we want, and the menu will respond accordingly. So we have a create a menu that will work in many different size screen sizes. Sorry about that. That's it for the tutorial. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to send me an email. And if you're interested in GameStrap, you can find it down below. Thanks for watching the video, and have a good day.